he's inaugurated in uh, January, and then two months, three months later, Kennedy uh, is instantly in, in trouble. With the surprise launch of Sputnik in 1957, the Russians had squarely beat America to become the first to put a satellite into space, setting off a space race that America so far has been losing. Now, on April 12th, 1961, America suffers yet another humiliating defeat at the hands of the Russians when cosmonaut Yuri Gargarin becomes the first man into space. Five days later, on April 17th, the failed U.S.-sponsored attempt to overthrow Fidel Castro's revolution at the Bay of Pigs becomes an international embarrassment for President Kennedy. Piled on top of Kennedy's woes is a severe downturn in the once booming economy, a blow to the cornerstone of his inaugural promise to get America moving again. Kennedy is in desperate need of a silver bullet that can simultaneously energize the economy, defeat the Russian space lead, and restore his fast fading reputation. A series of events that occurred within close proximity to each other caused President Kennedy to write a memo to Lyndon Johnson saying, give me something that will convince other people around the globe that the United States has the will and the capability to prevail in a technological Cold War, that we will win. And Lyndon Johnson came back and basically said, the nation that controls space will win the Cold War. The nation that controls space will control the Earth. Space was the right idea at the right time for a very specific problem that America had. It had to demonstrate that it had not only technical competence, but it had to demonstrate that it had vision and boldness that the rest of the world should join America, not the Soviet system. You should come join our system. But the silver bullet Lyndon Johnson suggests to Kennedy is the underfunded, overlooked civilian organization, NASA, that to date, is better known for blowing up rockets. With Soviet successes continuing to humiliate the United States, and sparking fear that Russia, not America, is going to control space, NASA is under tremendous pressure to prove otherwise. On May 5th, 1961, NASA makes an extraordinary leap of faith. Test pilot turned astronaut Alan Shepard boards the converted Redstone rocket Freedom 7 in the hopes of restoring American pride by becoming the first American in space. No one is watching more closely than America's president, who will either have his critical weapon or yet another major disaster seen live on national television. Freedom 7 will decide it all. Four, three, two, one, zero. 